Hello everyone. This is Professor Suraj Singh Tomar, Department of CSIT Sagar Institute of Research and Technology. Here we discuss on the topic of cyber security. The subject name is Cryptography and Network Security Branch of Computer uh, Science and Information Technology, uh, Semester 6, as per RGPV Syllabus, Lecture 1. Now, here we discuss about cyber security. What is cyber security? Security. In terms of security, we can pr uh, protect your system, your data, your information, like video, audio, and etc. etc. We discuss, and also here we discuss about surveillance cameras, secure payment gateway, how to uh, gateway selected, secure selected. Uh, payment gateway, a global secure shield, fingerprints, computer security. In this session, we discuss about all or about uh, the prevention on uh, presentation on IT uh, IT fundamentals of cyber security, introduction to cyber security tools and cyber attacks, cyber uh, security rules. Uh, process and operating system security, secure uh, cyber security compliance framework and system administration, network security and database. Now here uh, we are discuss uh, in this uh, session into the part of cyber security, uh, categorize of cyber crimes, cyber types of cyber crimes, types of cyber security tools we are using, and advantage of cyber security, safety tips of uh, cyber crimes. Here we discuss about the introduction. The internet in, in India is growing rapidly. There are two sides uh, to a coin. The internet also has its own disadvantage is cyber crime, illegal activity committed on the internet. Another one, crime committed using a computer and the internet to steal a person identity or illegal imports or malicious program. Cyber crimes is an activity done using computer and the internet. Cyber security refers to the technology and process designed to protect computer network and data from unauthorized access and attacks delivered via the internet by cyber criminal. Though cyber security is important for the network data and application security. The objective of cyber security is to establish rule and measure to use against attacks over the internet. Now, what is cyber security? First, we have to uh, we have to uh, we have to know that the what is cyber security in terms of cyber security related to the computer over the internet or a firewall. What is cyber security here? we discussed or uh, explain cyber security. Cyber security is the protection of internet connected systems, including hardware, software, and data from cyber attacks. In a computing context, security compri comprises cyber security and physical security. Both are used by enterprises to protect against unauthorized access to data centers and other computerized systems. Information security, which is designed to maintain the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data, is a subset of cyber security. That is the main three things called as uh, CIA, called as uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Here we see in the next slide. Yes, what is CIA? The CIA tried of information security. First one, first one, confidentiality ensures that the data or an information system are accessed by only an authorized person. Second one, what is second one is that is integrity. Integrity ensures that the data or information system can be trusted, ensures that it is edited by only authorized person and remain in its original state when at rest position. Third one, third one, what is that? Availability. Availability data and information system are available when required. Now, in terms of security and privacy also related on the cyber security, security refers to how your personal information is protected. 
which is means to relate with the security security and the privacy another one is related to any rights you have to control your personal information and how it is used explain example privacy policies your data uh, privacy like another one categories of cyber crime we can categorize cyber crime in two ways the first one is the computer as a target using a computer to attack other computer example hacking virus worms attacks dos attacks etc what is dos do is what is dos do is a distributed uh, uh, denial of service the uh, dos attacks is called as denial of service second one second one the computer as a weapon using a computer to commit real world crime real world crime example credit card fraud etc now we can see that the parameters of these are the principle of computer security hackers attacked at level below security parameters what is the parameter these are the parameters application service middleware operating system os kernel hardware how do you stop an attacker from getting access to a layer below from your protect protection mechanism? What is the mechanism? Here we can discuss. After that, uh, every protection me mechanism defines the security parameters. Boundary attackers try to bypass, try to bypass protection mechanism. Try to bypass protection mechanism. Now, these are the types of cyber crimes. What kind of first one is hacking, phishing, denial of service, spam emailing, spam emailing, spyware, adware, Trojan, malware having a categories, many uh, categories like Trojan, virus, worms, etc., etc., ATM scheming and point of scale crimes. And another one, last one is ransomware virus, ransomware virus. Now, what is hacking? In simple term, uh, means an illegal, illegal intrusion into a computer system and or a network. It's simple, we can say that. And another form, another one, we can say that it is also known as fracking. Government websites are the hot targets of the hackers due to the press coverage it receives. Now, another one is uh, phishing attack. Phishing is a fraudulent attempt using made through email to steal your personal information. Phishing is the attempt to obtain sensitive information such as username, password, and credit card details, often for malicious reasons through an electronic communication such as email. Third one, a common online phishing scam starts with an email message that appears to come from a trusted source, but actually direct recipients to provide information to a fraudulent website. Now, here we can understand uh, so that phishing mechanism. So, uh, these, uh, these, uh, the, how to establish the phishing me mechanism? The frauders build a fake website, then send out uh, through phishing email with link to fake website and victim click on the link in email believing it is legitimate they enter personal information frauders compile the stolen data and sell it only or use it themselves we are the simple mechanism of phishing now another one is denial of service these are, uh, this is an act by the criminals who floats the bandwidth bandwidth of the victim network. Second one, in the DOS attack, a hacker uses a single internet connection to either exploit a software vulnerability or flood a target with fake requests, usually in an attempt to exhaust server resources. On the other hand, DDOS, which is called as Distributed denial of service attacks are launched from multiple connected devices that are distributed across the internet. First one, DOS, denial of service, when a single host attacks. And another one is DDOS, which is called as distributed denial of service, when multiple host attacks simultaneously and continuously. Here, we depicted in the figure, first one, attacker can through the master and master can deliver to the slaves and directly 
uh, attack to the victim. Thank you. These are the attacks and rest of the attacks we are discussed on the next uh, part. So thank you, everyone.